How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new Resident Evil video here on YouTube. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today we are going to be talking about Resident Evil Outrage, the game that is leaked and is supposed to be coming out early 2022 or late 2022. It's not been confirmed yet, we're just going off leaks. I'm going to be talking about leaks in today's video. I do want to preface that, take everything with a grain of salt, but if that does interest you, please drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new and please put notifications on i wouldn't want you guys to miss any more videos that i do post without further ado let's just get right into today's video now i wanted to talk about a few things here before we do start and i this is just to like back up everything that i'm going to be mentioning later but we're gonna be talking about resident evil outrage so prior to a couple months ago resident evil 4 vr resident evil village story and Resident Evil Outrage, the spinoff that is supposed to be Resident Evil Revelations 3, was leaked. All three of those things, they were probably the biggest leaks of all. And two of the three leaks uh, had, were announced. Um, Resident Evil 4 VR was announced. Resident Evil Village Story was leaked and it ended up becoming true. And uh, this is going to back up everything later. So Resident Evil Outrage, a lot of people have been confused to what it is. And to sum it up, it's supposed to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Fortunately for me, I actually have a Nintendo Switch, so that's really good on my end. <laughs> so I have a Nintendo Switch. Um, but yeah, uh, the Nintendo Switch is supposed to be getting an exclusive Resident Evil game. And that was supposed to be coming out Resident Evil 20, or not Resident Evil, it was supposed to be coming out in later 2022 or early 2022. That was from what the leaks speculated. But again, two of the three leaks have been confirmed and they have been very, very creditable. Like they have been actually came true. Now, E3 is coming up, and this is where it backs up all my stuff, you know, like what I'm trying to talk about. So, E3 is coming up, and Nintendo has a lot of announcements to make, you know, and especially with a new Resident Evil theme coming out, or when I say theme, I mean some new Resident Evil content coming out, you know, we have the movie and the anime show that's coming out, or the show and the movie that's coming out, you know, we just got Resident Evil Village, the main eighth game in the franchise, and... Well, it's it can we can pretty much say it's a big year for Capcom and Resident Evil in general. Now, if they do announce this at at E3, that would be a very big win for Nintendo because let's be honest, man, Nintendo Switch has been popping off, and I cannot even deny that. And another thing that I think about too, didn't Resident Evil really start on the GameCube? Like a big majority of the games are on GameCube, and that's uh, that's pretty crazy to think about. You know, most of my childhood I did play on GameCube and I played a couple of Resident Evil games, but I don't want to get too carried away. Now, what I'm thinking is that Resident Evil Outrage must be announced at E3. And well, I'm thinking too that they might want to let the Resident Evil Village hype train kind of calm down. You know, I don't think they want to announce anything just yet because Resident Evil 8 is still doing good. Just a couple days ago, Capcom did announce that Resident Evil has sold 4 million copies. Now that's very good. And um, it but it still shows that Resident Evil 8 is still going strong. People are still enjoying the game. Um, but later sooner or later they're going to want to announce more content for the game and well I think one of the things that they're going to want to announce is Resident Evil Outrage. I'm pretty sure the game has been in development for some time. One of the Capcom studios is probably working on it at this moment and i think some of the other studios are just trying to you know try to put the I'm, I'm pretty sure the game is probably done at this point and they're just polishing it up or just adding new things to it that's just my speculation let me know what you guys think about that but again i do really want to preface that this, nothing has been announced and i think the perfect moment that they can announce this is at e3 this year because it could give the month it could give the months that lead to its initial release date some big hype you know give us some information here and there i don't know about you guys but i genuinely do uh get excited when resident evil or capcom does those like live shows where they talk about the games and you know give us some information and stuff like that um i do enjoy that i don't know if you guys do but i, I genuinely do 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I want to wrap up. I just really want to preface this. Maybe they, they do come out and talk about it. Uh, you know, Nintendo actually announces that this will be an exclusive, but I'm pretty sure this game will be later released onto other platforms. That's how it's always been. It would be a pretty dumb idea not to release it onto an other platforms because financially they would want to release it up uh, uh, they would want to release ports to other platforms to make as much revenue as they can they are a company at the end of the day and i don't think they would take that l but that's gonna have to wrap up today's video guys i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next